how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC and improve your FPS, get better performance in Arena Breakout Infinite dropped recently. This video will be covering all of the best game and Windows settings. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply open up settings and over here come down to personalization. Head over to colors and then disable transparency effects. This will disable your windows and surfaces appear translucent. After that, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar runs in the background and it is an overlay service which keeps on consuming our CPU's resources. Disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background allowing you to get extra fps then click on the graphics button underneath and enable optimizations for windowed games then head over to advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling this will reduce your input latency and utilize your hardware based graphics over your cpu based graphics to render the game after that click on the add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of the game once you head over to the folder head over to ab infinite and then ab infinite go into binaries win64 and then you have to scroll down and you have to find gameloader.exe this is the launch Launcher, you have to click on the add button and then select it for the gpu preference select high performance then click on the add desktop app button again and then scroll down and add uagame.exe if this is already added you can simply set the same thing select it and go to high performance and make sure that this is utilizing your graphic card once that is done simply close your settings next step is compatibility settings and for that head over to steam right click on your game and then click on manage and then click on browse local files head over to ab infinite binary win64 and then you have to find ua game right click on that head over to its properties and then click on compatibility select disable full screen optimization and then click on change high dpi setting select this option and this will help you to fix unwanted stutters freezing and input delay next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy on your pc double click on computer configuration and then administrative templates then windows components and then app privacy over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is enabled and default for all applications should be set to force deny and then click on apply after that click on ok and this will disable all of the applications from running in the background next step is ms config and for that press windows and r key together and then type in ms config press enter over here head over to the services tab and select hide all microsoft service now you have to disable all kind of unnecessary and unwanted services like browser update service rgb and fan control service screen sharing service and any other service which you feel is useless Disabling as many as you can will help you to optimize the performance of your PC by reducing the number of processes running in the background. Then head over to the startup tab and select open task manager. Now you have to disable startup applications as many as you can. To disable any startup application, simply right click and then click on the disable button over here. Lesser these applications are, it will keep your PC optimized and will reduce the booting time of your BIOS as well. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and then select your local disk C. Click on the create button and then type in ABI just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is Arena Breakout FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find in 7 folders over here. Let us start with the first one that is CPU Priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU Priority. If you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. It will apply the best D word values for your processor to improve its performance. Second folder is Arena Breakout Infinite Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Third one is RAM optimization which helps you to set up the best D word value for your RAM to optimize its performance. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry over here. You can choose any priority over here. You can choose this registry according to your system's RAM. And once again, if that doesn't work out well, or if it is giving you any performance issues, double click on reset to default and revert it back. Fourth folder over here is disable unwanted services in which I have left a few of these services which are absolutely useless, but they are still running in the background of your PC and they are consuming your system's resources. Double click and disable every single one of them and go back. Fifth folder is power plants in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan 
you wanna have to right click and run this as administrator. This will add a new power plan onto your PC that you can turn on by heading over to power plans and then select ultimate performance over here. This will disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware and help you to utilize the maximum performance of your PC. Sixth folder is input delay improvement and over here I have left keyboard latency fix for which you need to comment your keyboard specifications down in the comment section below and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose over here. Next is mouse latency registry in which I have left fixed mouse curve. You can see this in notepad it helps you to smoothen your X and Y curve and make your mouse movements more accurate. These are the settings used by pros and I would highly recommend you guys to double click and use this. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files dot bat. You wanna have to right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, it asks you to press any key to delete all temporary files. Press enter and this will delete that. I highly recommend you guys to keep your PC optimized by running this every now and then as it is a good practice. Next is process lasso. I have left a setup file for this. You have to install it on your PC and open it up. When you open it up, you have to close the FPS pack and then launch the game. Once your game opens up, Switch over to process lasso and now you have to look for arena breakout in this list. Once you find it, right click on that, head over to CPU priority and then click on current. Set this thing to high. Then for the IO priority, click on current and set this thing to high. Select induce performance mode and once that is done, simply minimize it and now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to image. Over here, make sure that your screen resolution is your normal screen resolution and your screen mode is set to full screen. After that, you have to come down and your max FPS, you gonna have to set this thing to the highest available for your monitor. For VSync, turn it off. And then you have super sampling. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use NVIDIA DLSS. If you guys have an AMD graphic card, go with FX super resolution. And for the super resolution quality, I have gone with performance because it gives the highest FPS. Frame interpolation, I have gone with FSR balance, but you guys can also go with FSR performance. NVIDIA reflex low latency, I have gone with enhanced. Other to detailed settings, view distance and texture quality should be set to balanced. Rest everything should be set to performance. And once that is done, click on the save button and click on confirm. After that, you guys can go drop into the game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We're really close to 1000 subscribers and I trust you all. See you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Tweakers and peace out.